Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you that actually everyone can create the 3D trees at home just in 5 minutes, just by using the Blender, it is a free software and finally create any of the trees, any type of the trees, export as FBX file for any other 3D software. The FBX file is a general, a universal 3D object files that you can share with your friends, you can share with me as well. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, what you are going to do is just scroll down, go to my video description to check the two links. The first one is download the Blender. The Blender download link from the official site, download the latest version of the Blender. And the next download link is go and download the tree generator. This is a plugin for your Blender. Once you already download this, it is a zip file and do not extract it, just wait for a while. I'm going to show you how to install this plugin. First, you need to install the Blender and install in your computer. I already installed it, you can see. The Blender 3.5 for today, this is the latest version of the Blender. Today is 22 June 2000. 23. At the same time, I also already downloaded the tree generator. As demo, I'm going to put it on my desktop. And how to install this plugin? Because in this tutorial, we are going to use the plugin to generate any 3D trees. It is really easy plugin for everyone, but how to install the plugin? First, I already put the plugin zip folder on my desktop and always remember you no need to extract this zip folder. You just need to open your Blender and go to the Edit Preferences, click the Add-on and click Install. It is on my desktop so I click the desktop and I double click the tree generator, the zip file. Once I double click it, it automatically install it as the Blender's plugin and it pop out this, the tree gen. You have to click here to make sure it is selected and already activated, then close. Now in Blender, once you press N, you should be able to see your tree generator at here. And as demo, I'm going to delete these three objects. I select everything like this and press delete button to clear everything. Now the tree generator is here, it's just now, as I already mentioned, everyone can create a 3D trees at home, just in 5 minutes, you can create any of the trees in Blender, it, almost every type of the trees, you can just look at here, click here. There are so many types of the trees, for example, if I want to create a bamboo tree, I just click bamboo. These are the templates that you can select from here. Of course, not every trees on this planet, but almost any common trees you can find here. Let's say the bamboo, I click here and click load tree parameter. Then I click generate trees. It is going to generate as something like this. Right now, what we are going to do is just add some of the colors. Of course, you need to activate the viewport shading. Now, it doesn't have any of the colors. We can add the colors for it. Click, let's say I click the leaf and I click here to plus new. Then the base color, just switch it to green color. Now, something like this. Next, the trunk, also do the same way. Plus new, then click the base color. You can add some colors like this. And what else? The branches one, also do the same way. Plus new, click the base color. Then, just select one of the color. You can see now this is the bamboo tree. Of course, there are a lot of the parameters that you can adjust 
to make different types of the variations but as there are more I'm going to take it easy this is a five minutes tutorial and what to do to make it as simple as possible we can extract it uh, we can export it but before that I prefer to save as a blend file as a backup I click file save as and as demo I'm going to open a new folder on my desktop here name this as bamboo tree zero one then I will save it here on my desktop bamboo tree zero one the file name I'm going to name this as bamboo tree zero one as well I click save as it is going to save as a blend file so that later I still can come back here to edit it. So how to export it as FBX? It is really simple. Just click here, File, Export, FBX. And then the path modes you want the material to follow and embed it inside the FBX file. The path mode you have to choose the copy and highlight here. Bamboo 301 is the file name. It is going to export in the same folder. I click export FBX. And it may take some time. Just wait for a while. At this moment, you can see the Blender file is show not responding just because of it is working. Just be patient, wait for a while until it responds. Now you can see it already respond. At the same time, the FBX file already exported here. Alright, we are going to test this FBX file to see whether the FBX exported can work in any other 3D software. So as there are more, I'm going to just open a random 3D software, for example, the Icon 7. This is a 3D animation software. We try to import this FBX file to test whether it works or it doesn't work. Right now, the Icon 7 already opened. I just try to use the simplest method, just drag in the FBX and try to, in, try to import it as simple as possible to see is the tree, is the bamboo tree can load properly as a 3D model, as an FBX model. So we can see maybe this file is quite big. It is about 94 MB. It is a high poly and it contains three meshes. I'm not going to break it into sub props. I choose no. And let's have a look. It already loaded into the iClone 7 3D animation software. If I try to press, press Q and double click it, you can see I still can edit the colors in, in another software here. Let's say. I still can edit it by using different colors. It is up to me. Everything still can be modified. Let's say branches. I can edit it in another software as well. That means this is this is work. It work in other 3D software. This is the FBX file. So in this demo, I already show that actually everyone can create any of the 3D trees at home just in five minutes by using the Blender, export as FBX. And the FBX is a useful format, a universal 3D models format that can compatible with any other 3D software. Now it worked properly. All right, that's all for today about my tutorials on the 3D trees. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, 
you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!